What if you thought that a visit to the Iowa State Fair could be your last visit to the fair? What would you do? The Iowa State Fair is featured in the popular book, 1,000 Places to See Before You Die. And today, a cancer patient from Des Moines was granted his last wish to enjoy the fair one more time. KCCI Cynthia Fodor is live at the fairgrounds now after spending the day with him. Cynthia? With Stacy and Kevin, Bud Garman doesn't get out anymore. He is under hospice care. So one more day at the state fair was at the top of his bucket list. Wearing his slippers and using his cane. Take your time. Take Bud Garman stepped into the state fairgrounds one last time. What did you like about being out here? The girls. <laughs> His guide for this VIP tour, Don Griman. The fairgrounds is about 400 acres. He knows every inch of every acre here. That building cost almost about 16 million. A day at the fair is priceless for this cancer patient with not much time left. This Navy veteran has traveled the world but is now at home under St. Jude Hospice Care. First, Bud wanted a funnel cake for the first time ever. Oh, I'm having. having Dessert first. And every man must try a turkey leg once in his life. Oh, huge. Well, eat what you want. To eat. This frail man who lost 25 pounds since a stroke suddenly regained an appetite, eating everything in sight. Where's the ice cream stand? Well, that's where we're going next. But there's one food he could pass up. So right there they have deep fried Twinkies, deep fried yeah. Oreo cookies, and over there they have deep fried butter. Yesterday my car you want went some of that? No. After a last look at all the sites, I like to look at everything. Bud's last wish to pose for one last photograph with girls. Is it everything you hoped it would be? Yep. This is a really big deal for him. This is an awesome, awesome day. And he's got enough food to last him the next month and a half. There's nothing like the fair to lift your spirits, but most of all, it gave Bud joy and hope. I might come back this year. I got as much joy out of it as he did. It was, it was a day I'll never forget. Now, Bud originally told his caregivers that all he wanted to do out here was eat a tenderloin and people watch a few hours. He got much more than that, and I wouldn't be surprised if he keeps asking to come back. Stacy and Kevin, special story, Cynthia, thank you.